We reported him and they kicked him out today. A guy was being creepy with the girls in the dorm. I.e. asking us to dinner repeatedly. Too many compliments. Unwanted touching. Etc. And so we got together and reported him to the human rights group of our university. They talked to the housing office. And they decided to immediately remove him from the dorm. He moved out less than two weeks after the report today. They didn't mention our specific names to him. And now I get to use the kitchen without worrying about being harassed. Sometimes, we win. The power of the union. A collective can do a lot of things an individual can't. Remember this when you move out to the world. Good for you for banding together to get him out of there. I'm so happy for you. Please enjoy the peace and calm of being unmolested in your own home. Something similar happened at my college and while I scared him off early on unintentionally. But I digress there were friends of mine who became victims to his shit later on and when having. Our guy friends take him aside for a good old try this harassment again and see where this gets you. We went to the college to get him kicked. And then right to the courthouse for an order of his arrest. It worked beautifully. Probably since there were so many people there as witnesses. Like me. But it's so damn good when this works out. I am happy for you all. When I was in college 25 years ago. I broke up with a guy who would stand outside my room and scream threats at me. I was terrified living there. And the best the college could do was move me into a different and much more terrible living space. I had a single in a great building. They would do nothing to him he has a right to live here too I eventually moved home and commuted an hour back and forth each day. Do you know where he got moved to? Hopefully. They didn't just shuffle him off to another co-ed dorm where he now has access to new unsuspecting women. Is there a way to find out and possibly warn his new neighbors? I am proud of you and happy that the creep got moved. Amazing I think because you all banded together. It was harder for them to pretend it's a you problem. If everyone goes individually. They can hide the fact that others have reported him as well. In this regressing world, all wins matter. This is amazing and I am so glad you are safer now. I'm surprised your dorm hasn't placed limits on the number of times a person can ask another person. Out. In my neck of the woods it's common. With anything above two attempts being possible grounds for expulsion from the dorms. Not the school at most locations. No one should ever feel uncomfortable in their own home. I'm glad that guy is gone. Had a guy in my dorm kinda like that. There were a few girls who said he tried to kiss them in the elevator. A few other similar stories. Dude you could tell he had no idea how to relate to people. Or act in even the simplest social situation. And this is coming from me. Who is not particularly great socially. If it tells you anything. He got arrested by the FBI a few months into the semester. Apparently. He thought it would be hilarious to email a bomb threat to the school. Well. Done. Great job. This is also the power of not giving up. I'd we assume it's inevitable. That they'll never take action. And don't report. Then there's no chance for the right thing to happen. It's wrong. Talk about it. Report it. Sometimes nothing will be done. Sometimes everything will be done. Good on you great example of the sisterhood at work. You are so brave, courageous, and resilient to do the right thing. I'm glad you never gave up. 
Love to hear this it really takes a lot of good people in critical positions to have results like this. Super happy for you all not to be a downer, but do make sure you and all the women in the dorm are cautious if you run into him in the future. Social situations with drinks. Whatever. He may blame all or any one of you for any imagined reason instead of the correct blame being himself and he may attempt to retaliate in some way. I'm interested in the process. Does there need to be an investigation or evidence or something or can it be done with enough people reporting? Yay congratulations being proactive paid off. Crown 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 Asking us to dinner repeatedly. Too many compliments. Unwanted touching. Etc. One of these things is not like the others. Oh. Regardless of gender. Thirsty people have to be one of the most unattractive type of people. Glad you are free from him. Partying face. I love that your college has a human rights group instead of like a Title 19 human resources hub. Good for you. I'm at uni but not in a dorm but I know some girls who are who put in a joint complaint about a guy who was harassing them. And it is dragging on while he meanwhile is still doing it. Awesome. I do hope the guy learns from this to go on to stop being creepy. But no doubt he'll double down with whatever Andre Tate replacement comes up.